Welcome to overthinking stuff. The category where we overthink stuff. Today we're talking about the fact that Yukinoshita Yukino is actually a time traveler. Looking at these three characters should make it obvious already, but let's get into the theory. The original person that is at home in the timeline of Oregairu is Rumi. In the first and original timeline, Hachiman saves Yuigahama's dog and they become a couple. They still work at that elementary school outing where they meet Rumi. Rumi falls in love with Hachiman, but of course is way too young. By the time she would be old enough, he is already married to Yuigehama. At that point, Rumi builds a time machine and travels back in time. At that point in time, she is 16 and is planning on joining Hachiman's high school to make him fall in love with her. Unfortunately, she miscalculates and ends up 10 years too early in time, at a point where Hachiman is only 6 years old. Since you can only use a time machine once, she can't do it again. She can't go back again, or forward in that case. She decides to live out her life. She still goes to that high school, graduates and becomes a teacher at that same high school. That way she can still be with Hachiman and guide the upcoming relationship she's going to force into existence. Now the time of the elementary school outing comes again. Teacher Yukino meets up with Kid Yukino, who is of course actually Rumi. Teacher Yukino gives Kid Rumi the adjusted plans for the time machine so that Rumi won't make the same mistake as she did. Rumi now builds the correct time machine and travels back and creates timeline 3. That is the version we are seeing in the show. And Yukino's plan now is to take over Hachiman's heart. Or is it? Now, let me debunk your counter arguments. Why is Yukino that cold towards Hachiman then? Well, now that she can set her plan into motion, she gets cold feet, since she would destroy the future marriage and children of Hachiman and Yugehama she already knows would exist. That's why she is hesitant to really move on with her plan, and that's why she also acts distant towards Yugehama. Why is Sensei Yukino still in timeline 3? That's a paradox. If she wouldn't still be there, how could Yumi slash child Yukino acquire the correct schematics for the time machine. She has to be there to not make the universe explode because the paradox it would create. But we saw Yukino's family. How does that work? Well, that is her family. In timeline 3 she lives there together with Rumi. The family accepts the fact that she is a time traveler and it's kind of like in Irosuke Seka no Ashtakara. You know that one with the colorblind witch girl? Yeah, that one. You've got even more arguments against my theory? Let me know in the comments. And next time we're going to take a close look at the Yukino Mai connection. So don't forget to subscribe and I see you in the next video.